How are you going to ensure that space allocations and policies in Lower Sproul are equitable for student groups? How will you ensure the movement process is efficient and orderly? Thank you for that question. I will approach the near completion of the Lower Sproul redevelopment process under three steps. Number one, I want to invite the League Center as well as the event services staff to host a town hall series that allows students to be engaged in the process so that they know what the policies and procedures are so that before we go into the moving in process, we are well prepared and equipped to make that process happen. And I want to engage and I want to also emphasize that I've been working on this with the town hall that I recently had with the Eshman Hall Performance Spaces and I want to add on to that to ensure that all student opinions are heard. Thereafter, I want to ensure that at the beginning of the semester, we are bringing the entire Executive Vice President office to be fully, pro uh, to be fully present during the move-in process. This will provide a move-in assistance program to ensure that within a two-week uh, two schedule, we are understanding which student groups have a high priority to move into the new Eshelman Hall space so that we can have an efficient moving-in process so students aren't bothered by the high moving uh, movement process that will take up the, the campus activity. Lastly, I want to ensure that all students and student group leaders are aware of the reservation processes and the student spaces that are available to them in Eshelman Hall. Therefore, I will advocate for an online central platform so that student groups and students in general know what spaces are available to them, know that there are 24-7 study spaces, know that there are two performance spaces, and know that they will be able to use that space to its utmost capacity so that we can ensure that Eshman Hall will be the heart of campus life. Thank you. Once again, my name is Lavanya Jarhalal, and I'm ready to be your next ACC Executive Vice President. I think this is a great question because this is a $223 million project that has been ongoing for the past 10 years, and it's finally coming to life in fall of 2015. What I first want to address is through this movement process, the space allocation policy has already been determined over the past couple of years. I will make sure that the space allocation policy is carried out effectively because what we do in this year, this summer, and this fall will be followed for the ten next 10 years by students as well as administration. To do this, I will focus on first summer when the ASUC and the student union will be moving into Lower Sprout. I will make sure that we understand what the process is as we move in starting from June to July and August. From there, we're going to be focusing on student organizations, and I will follow a phased program. In the beginning, in September and October, we'll be moving in our larger student organizations. And from there, we will keep on going every two weeks until we move in every single student organization by December of dead week. That means every student organization will have the access to this building, this 24-hour study space and rest space by the new year of 2016. We need an EVP that understands policies. We need an EVP with experience working with the administration, and I have that experience. I have used this past year as a senator to work on multiple committees involving multiple administration. I will carry on that experience to make sure that I'm not only working with the administration and the student union, but making sure to reach out to all the student organizations so they understand what that movement process looks like. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let me know if you need the question again. Sure. <laughs> the role of the EVP is to foster the most productive environment in the ASUC Senate. Do you think that requires the EVP to act primarily as an unbiased moderator, actively engaged in Senate discussion? Thank you for that question. I want to say it's a little bit of both. I think that as chair of the Senate, the EVP must have the experience to work with all senators and be open to all of their ideas and their platforms. At the same time, partisanship <laughs> helps move our ASUC forward. It helps senators bring up their ideas, work with each other, as well as increase the capacity for students to think bigger and have better ideas to expand for their communities. As EVP and chair, it is important that our EVP has the experience as well as the accountability and a proven track record to work with the Senate. I am the only candidate on this stage that has never missed a Senate meeting. On top of that, I'm a senator who has been very vocal and active in the Senate space, holding our administration accountable. And by having that experience, I understand what it takes to be a senator, and I will make sure to work with our future Senate class of 2015 and 2016. I'll use the Senate Leadership Institute in August to really focus on enabling our senators to make sure they understand that if you have separate platforms, whether you are from different parties, it's okay to work together. In fact, as a senator in the past year, I have worked across all party lines. I have worked with Student Action Senator Nan Gongkar and Independent Senator Puri to really promote engineering community. Whether you come from different parties, you can bring your platforms and your ideas together. And no matter what that partisanship is, I will encourage all of our senators to work together. Thank you. Let me know if you want the question again. Okay. The role of the EVP is to foster the most productive environment in the ASUC Senate. Do you think that requires the EVP to act primarily as an unbiased moderator or as a partisan figure actively engaged in Senate discussion? I see the role of the executive vice president under two facets, on the Senate floor and off the Senate floor. On the Senate floor, I view myself as an unbiased moderator, but also a facilitator. I believe it is absolutely necessary to allow all 20 senators to voice their concerns and let them lead the productive discussions. Because I believe that they must represent, represent all various corners of campus. However, I think it is absolutely necessary for me to also clarify that I define my role as a person that leaves the Senate floor to be a productive space of discussion. I think it is absolutely necessary for me to intervene when necessary so that we uphold the procedural laws of the Senate floor so that not only students see it as a productive space, but also our school administrators. Off the Senate floor, I see myself as a valuable resource. Having been an ACC Senator that has, that has been representing three communities, the Korean community, the dance community, as well as the Christian community, I want to help every single 20 senators to be able to use me as a resource to meet with them offline. I hope to build the personal connections necessary so that by the time we reconvene in the next meeting, I will have a better understanding of what their platforms are, but also allow that meeting to be as productive as possible. Again, under the two definitions of the executive vice president, both on the floor and off the floor, I believe that we can catalyze the change moving forward so that not only are we improving the way the Senate is run, but we're also re redefining how the Cal experience currently is. Thank you for your time.